Amazing revelation knowledge from the Holy Spirit of God. It is the butter and the honey on the bread. It is the meat in due season, and I'm thankful for everything that the Holy Spirit of God blesses me with. Here we go, church. Adam tried to work out his own salvation in fear and trembling. When he took the fig leaves which the figs represent the nation of Israel. When he made the apron of fig leaves, showing that the leaves were for the healing of the nations, he was trying to break the curse. When Jesus went to the fig tree and he saw that it only had leaves on it and bearing no fruit, he cursed the fig tree. So Adam certainly had knowledge of uh, a curse. In Ezekiel 47 and 12 in Revelation 22 and verse 2 tells us that the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. Adam believed he could heal himself and his wife, the church. We know she is the church because Genesis 2 and 21 tells us that she is bone of his bone. Revelation I'm sorry, Genesis 2, 21 through 23. She is bone of his bone and flesh of his flesh. So she represented the church. And he was trying to save himself and his church. When he took the fig leaves that represented the nation of Israel, and when he made the apron of fig leaves, that meant the healing of the nations to break the curse. We see in the book of Acts 19 and 21 that Paul has an apron. And that apron healed the sick and the evil spirits would leave. Adam knew there was an evil spirit working in the garden in paradise. A spirit, a seducing spirit. I was so amazed by what the Holy Spirit of God revealed hidden in the book of Genesis 3 and 7 and how the Lord rejected the fig leaf apron. It was the best Adam could come up with. He had knowledge. The work of Adam. Adam needed to do to prove himself before the Lord God that he and his wife, the church, that Adam tried to save himself and his church. We know the fig represented the nation of Israel. We know the leaves of the tree were for medicine and for the healing of the nations, Revelation 22 and 2, Ezekiel 47 and 12. The apron we know also how the apron was used for healing and to cause unclean spirits to leave. That's what the book of Acts 19 and 12 tells us. So Adam had a good reason to make the apron to cover his shame. What happened to the stolen garment of Adam and his church? The garment of light of their priesthood because God made them kings and priests and we know that Adam was crowned with glory Hebrews 2, 6 and 7 we know that he was created in the image and the glory of God so his glory was that he was the light Adam had a good reason for the apron to cover up his shame for the stolen garment of Adam of light of his priesthood and the garment made by God given to Adam was a garment, a covering of the glory of God, the glory of the light. But after the fall, their eyes were opened. That's what Genesis 3 and 7 tells us. And they saw themselves that they were lost. The light of the glory of God and the grace of God left them. The book of Revelation 21, 2 and 23, we see the bride is the reflection of the lamp of the light of the new Jerusalem. 
Matthew 17 and verse 2, when Christ transformed himself and his skin was shining like light. It is the image of the heavenly bodies made to give light in the heavens and light to the earth and they were used for signs. The church is the bride. God is calling his bride the new Jerusalem. Revelation 3 and 12, Revelation 21 and 2. The city had one street and that street is Jesus Christ, the only way to God. We are the candlesticks. We are the light. The glory of God. Revelation tells us in Revelation 12 and 1 that Jerusalem above Galatians 4 and 26 her glory her light her clothing her covering was the light the glory of the sun the moon and the stars in 1 Corinthians 15 and 41 Revelation 21 and 21 tells us having the glory of God and her light was like a most precious stone. It was a reflection of the light of the garment of light. God rejected the fig leaves. And he clothed Adam in animal skin. Revelation 21 tells us having the glory of God in her light was like to a most precious stone, the reflection of light. Romans 13 and 12 tells us that we have an armor of light. The night is almost gone. The day of salvation will soon be here. So remove your works of darkness like filthy rags and put on the armor of light get up and awake to what God is doing don't waste a minute of the day light get up dress yourself put on Jesus Christ put on the armor of light so we are not overcome by the powers of the darkness of this world. Today, speaking the truth, for the spiritual powers of God need to be shouted from the rooftop with the power of Jesus Christ, speaking the truth. By speaking the truth, it opens the ears of those that are deaf to the word of God, unstopping the ears and rebuking sin. Speaking the truth will open the eyes of those that are spiritually blinded that they may see the light of God. So let us pick up the mantle of God and pray the troubled waters of our day, of our time, will part from us and we would cross over and the Holy Spirit of God would flow through the believers like the rivers of water of life. Colossians 3 and 17, whatsoever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of Jesus Christ, giving thanks to God and the Father by him. Church Adam tried to work out his own salvation. And you know, I always say to the Holy Spirit of God when he's teaching from the book of Genesis, I never think that there's anything else hidden in the book of Genesis. I always say to the Holy Spirit of God, that's the good stuff right there. I don't believe it can get any better than that. If it did, I don't believe that I could take it. I cannot imagine that there is anything else left hidden in the book of Genesis. But yet, the Holy Spirit of God amazes me every day in my walk with God. He is an amazement. And I love Him with everything that is in me. When he revealed to me how Adam tried to work out his own salvation in fear and trembling. When he actually took of the fig leaves 
the figs representing the nation of Israel. And he made an apron. And he took these fig leaves, which the leaves of the tree were meant for the healing of the nations. And how Paul used that apron for healing the sick and driving out unclean spirits in the book of Acts 19 and 21. Revelation 22 and 2, Ezekiel 47 and 12. The leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. Adam tried to heal himself because he is the fig tree. He represented the nation of Israel. He was made a king and a priest. His wife is the church. And he, the work that Adam was doing right there in that garden in paradise, the work that he needed to do to prove himself before the Lord God that him and his wife, the church, that Adam tried to save himself and his wife. Can you believe that? Can you imagine that amazing revelation knowledge right there, hidden in the Word of God. What a treasure. What a revelation knowledge from the Holy Spirit of God. Praise God, glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Think about it, church. Adam was covering it all. He took the fig leaves. The figs representing the nation of Israel. The leaves for the healing of the nation. The apron. Boy, he was working that, wasn't he? I'll tell you what. He was working that one because he knew his wife was being seduced by a seducing spirit. Boy, he was definitely speaking to a future event, wasn't he? I mean, truly, everything he did in that moment revealed so much revelation knowledge to us by the power of the Holy Ghost. And he's been there all along. I, how many times I read Genesis? Come on now. I've read it so many times. My little pages are all tore. I have read it so many times because that's where the Holy Spirit of God keeps taking me is back to the book of Genesis. And I always say to him, Oh, I don't think you're going to be able to top that one because that was some good stuff right there. That's the butter and the honey on the bread and the meat in due season. And I am feasting at the Lord's table, praise God. And then here he is, revealing such amazing revelation knowledge. It is just amazing. I'm amazed. I am amazed by him and the things that he knows. Truly, when we speak the truth and the spiritual powers of God that truly needed to be shouted from the rooftop with the power of Jesus Christ, speaking the truth, speaking the truth will open the eyes of those that are spiritually blinded and unstop the ears Amen. That's the power of God. And every day I'm amazed by the power of the working of the Holy Spirit of God in my life. I am. I'm amazed by it. And who am I that he going to take his time? You know he's busy. The Holy Spirit to walk with me talk with me to reveal such amazing revelation knowledge and I can't keep it to myself mm -mm. I've got to share it I want you to eat with me I do I'm having a feast and I don't want to enjoy it by myself I want you to eat this good word with me It's amazing revelation knowledge from the Holy Spirit of God. 
And you know it is. You think I could think this up, please? I, I'm just amazed at how many times I have been in Genesis. And to be amazed that I thought, well, there cannot be anything else there. I believe that's it. And then here comes the precious Holy Spirit of God to reveal more of this amazing gospel. And I even agreed with the Holy Spirit. Yes, my Lord, I see how Adam tried to work out his own salvation. He tried to deceive God. By putting on those leaves. Well, I guess he had to do what he had to do, didn't he, church? Because he did it. Nevertheless, he did it. But it was of a future event by him putting on them fig leaves and what all those leaves and that fig and that apron meant. But we never put two and two together, do we, church? Uh-uh. Because, you see, without the power of the Holy Ghost, without the Holy Spirit, we don't know anything because it is spiritually discerned by the power of the Holy Ghost because he truly is our leader, our teacher, and our God. And he is an amazing teacher. Amazing. Just amazing. And I am blessed, blessed of God to sit and listen to him teach this amazing gospel and reveal such mysteries and revelation knowledge because you see it's time for the mysteries of God to be revealed to the church by the power of the Holy Ghost it's time this is the appointed time God wants us to know he wants us to know the mysteries of God and I want to know I want to know, and I will eat as much of the butter and the honey on the bread and the meat given in due season as the Holy Spirit of God is willing to feed me. And he always says to me, My friend, eat as much of the honey as you can and the meat given in due season. And I I'm telling you, I always see myself overeating because I can't eat fast enough to eat this good word oh taste and see that the Lord is good he is this word is amazing I'm telling you if it gets any better than this I don't think I'm going to be able to take it because this is the good stuff right here it's amazing and here Paul has that apron and I'm over here not putting two and two together and knowing I know that word. I know the book of Acts 19.21 and I know the apron of Paul. And it was the Holy Spirit of God that spoke to me and he says, do you make the connection? And I said, with what, my Lord? He said, with the apron that Adam made. And I'm thinking in my mind, how am I going to put that together? I didn't have to. Holy Spirit did it for me. Yes, he did. <laughs> Praise God. Praise God. Glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. That's the good stuff right there, church. That's the good stuff. And my little mind was, my little wheels in my mind were turning, and I was trying to go through Scripture and where the Holy Spirit was taking me. And then... That amazing revelation knowledge. Because you see, he knows how to break it down. He knows how to present that word to me to where I'm able to understand it, where I'm able to eat it. And he always says to me, did you understand it, my friend? And I say, yes, my Lord. Yes, my Lord, I understood every word that you said. I received that revelation knowledge. 
and the gates of hell cannot prevail against it. It's amazing. Amazing. And I just love how the Holy Spirit takes time to fellowship with me. And I always make time for Him. Amen. I don't care what time of day, night, I don't care where I'm at. I submit to the will and the power of His authority. And I will gladly sit there and listen to every word He says. Because truly, it is honey. It is the sweetest butter and honey on the bread. Well, think on these things, my dear precious friends. Think on these things. Have a blessed and victorious day. In Jesus Christ's most holy name we pray. And let the church say amen and amen. I love you, my dear precious friends. I love you and I thank God for each and every one of you. Have a blessed day.